So as the election drum beats continue, there's a warning that's going to civil servants. They've been warned against early campaigns because they're supposed to stay in office up until the 9th of February 2022 at least. This is according to the Elections Act, Section 43.5. In fact, let me bring it up and read it for you verbatim so that you see what I mean exactly there. That is participation in elections by public officers. A public officer who intends to contest an election under this act shall resign from public office at least six months before the date of election. That is the reason why they've been given a warning because section 43.5 that then means that by 9th of February 2022 they all needed to have resigned. But that's not all. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, that's ESCC, has asked Kenyans to only elect leaders without integrity questions in next year's general election. ESCC Chairperson Eliud Bukala and CEO Tuali Mbarak said that while the commission will do its best to flag politicians with questionable character and integrity, the electorate had the most potent weapon to deal with them. They spoke in a conference in Mombasa that was attended by the Director of Public Prosecutions, Nordin Haji, with the judiciary represented by the Supreme Court judge, Justice Njoki Ndungu. In, an, in enacting this chapter, Kenyans expected that only leaders who meet the integrity threshold should occupy public office. Unfortunately, we continue to witness people assume public office despite facing serious criminal charges, including corruption and economic crimes. One of the unique features of our transformative constitution is that it, de it de dedicates a whole chapter to leadership and integrity. This means combating corruption and economic crimes is a constituent choice by the people of Kenya. Rampant corruption and economic crimes have had ne negative effects on the realization of our country's development goals. It has led to inequitable distribution of public resources and undermined the delivery of social welfare programs. Members of the private sector represented here will agree with me when I say that corruption poses an ex existential threat to private enterprise. Therefore, fostering strategic partnership which encompasses collaboration and cooperation between law enforcement agencies and private entities to enhance transparency and accountability within the private sector is vital to all of us. So when you have a person with a Form 4 fake certificate and the case is before court, and this case will take 10 years, that guy comfortably will become an MP with that Form 4 certificate. You cannot stop him. Are we getting the, the, that point? You cannot stop him. So in the next election, there will be people who will have Form 4 fake certificate, fake degree certificate, they will contest. The ESCC, the IBC will have no ground of stopping them. But do you know who is the best person to stop those people? It's the citizen. Unfortunately, that does not happen. Actually, if you look at the patterns, is that most of these guys who have got dubious issues, they're the ones who win the elections.